Hello everyone, I just wanted to read today from Romans chapter 13 because I've been reading a bit in the book of Romans and it's good sometimes to just take um, some moment to read every verse slowly. This is what I do sometimes and it's weird how many things you can get and how wise Paul was because Paul went into some details and it is very practical details about things that apply to us today. You know, there are a lot of uh, people I know that try their utmost best not to pay taxes. But imagine that Paul spoke about that. And that's why I want to read from the book of Romans. This is chapter 13. And Paul says, Let every person be subject to the governing authorities. For there is no authority except from God, and those that exist have been instituted by God. Therefore, whoever resists the authorities resists what God has appointed, and those who resist will incur judgment. For rulers are not a terror to good conduct, but to bad. Would you have no fear of the one who is in authority? Then do what is good, and you will receive his approval. For he is God's servant, for your good. But if you do wrong, be afraid, for he does not bear the sword in vain. For he is the servant of God, an avenger, who carries out God's wrath on the wrongdoer. Therefore one must be in subjection, not only to avoid God's wrath, but also for the sake of conscience. For because of this you also pay taxes, for the authorities are ministers of God attending to this very thing. Pay to all what is owed to them, taxes to whom taxes are owed, revenue to whom revenue is owed, respect to whom respect is owed, honor to whom honor is owed. Owe no one anything except to love each other, for the one who loves another has fulfilled the law. Dear friends, the authorities that we have over us, I know they're not as good as Paul is explaining here, but that doesn't give us the excuse of becoming cheats and evil. Even though these authorities sometimes are very evil, but we have to understand that they are there because God allowed them to be there. They are appointed by God. Even the evil rulers of the Old Testament, they were all there because God allowed them to be there. Sometimes because they bring judgment and wrath according to God's will. So today I just want to speak to the people, to the Christians who sometimes say uh, that we don't need to pay our taxes because these governments are evil. Dear friends, that doesn't give us an excuse. We need to do our thing the right way. We need to live peaceably with all men. And we need to pay our taxes. Give to Caesar what is Caesar's. And what is to God, give to God. You know, when Jesus uh, stood in front of Pilate, Pilate thought that he had the authority over Jesus. Because he didn't know who he was. He told him, why aren't you talking? You know that I have the power to let you go. Jesus told him, You have no power over me, except the one that is given to you from above. Jesus knew that Pilate was there because God gave him that power. He understood that. And today we need to understand the same. We are under authority of people, sometimes very evil people, but they are there for a reason. And in the grand scheme of God's plan, they play a part. God will deal with them also accordingly. But our job is to give to Caesar what is Caesar's. And at the same time, continue our way with Christ. Our eyes and minds have to be focused on the kingdom. And we need to do the right thing all the time. Also, we need to live peaceably with people outside the faith. You know, that's something that sometimes I struggle with. 
I think because as Christians, we get used to um, just being sometimes alone because we don't agree with a lot of things that we see outside. There is a lot of sin, a lot of bad things. So we just stay as far as we can. But sometimes we don't have a choice. We have that neighbor. We have that colleague that we need to work with. And this is where it's hard. We need to try to live peaceably with them, not resent them, not hate them, but love them. Return good, sometimes for evil, blessing those who persecute us. It's very hard sometimes to be a Christian. But do we truly try to do it? Or are we just above everyone else? This is very important, dear friends. We need to remember that as Christians, we have to project the light of Jesus. And that is not an easy thing. It takes a lot of wisdom and patience. I hope that this message brings light to some things that people, that Christians sometimes go through. And may God bless you.